Hello, fear fighters. Okay, this is an impromptu live. I have been having kind of like a, I had a low energy morning. I'm sorry, I scratched my pillow. I had a low energy kind of morning and I was planning to go live and then just like didn't feel right. And I'm all about flow and ease and desire this year. And so I was like, well, I'm just not gonna do it. I'm not gonna go live. And then I did a meditation. I met with a few private clients and I felt really inspired to come on here and share something with you, which is you know if you have struggled with any mental health, anything, right? Anxiety, depression, OCD, um, postpartum, PTSD, um, anything with your mental health, if you struggle with anything, you know what it's like to feel bad, right? You know what that feels like to feel lonely, to feel scared, to feel crazy, to feel, I mean, lonely is the thing that comes up. It feels so isolating and painful to experience what mental health brings, like those emotions, those feelings, those physical sensations, not just mentally and emotionally, but physically, right? You know what that feels like. Last year, I focused in this business a lot around healing the pain a lot around healing the fear, a lot around releasing programs that focused on healing the fear. And I decided at the end of last year when I took inventory of the year, and it was like such an amazing year with so many of you, but I felt this massive shift in me and I kept writing the same phrase, fight fear by feeling good, fight fear by feeling good, fight fear by feeling good. And this concept of desire, came to me and on just like positive feelings and on not toxic positivity, right? Not like everything is good. Everything is going to be fine all the time. No, on like, we know what you don't want. We know what you don't want to feel like. We know what is painful for you. Let's focus on what do you actually fucking want? What do you want to feel like? What do you want to wake up every day and embody? How do you want to approach your life? What do you want to go get? Like, what do you really want? Not what do you want in your head? What do you want in your soul? What do you want in your body? And so this entire year, what I am focused on delivering are things that make you feel good. Programs, courses, experiences, immersions, transmissions that make you feel good, that still fight that same fear fight those same emotions in terms of helping you feel through them, helping you process them, helping you release them, but ultimately chasing after what you want. Gone are the days here where I want you to focus on what you're scared of. I don't want you to focus on what you're scared of. I want you to focus on what the fuck you want next. What do you want to embody? What do you want to feel like? What do you want your life to look like? How do you want to be? How do you want to exist in this world? How do you want to interact with other people? What are the beliefs you want to have? What are the stories that you want to be telling yourself when you wake up every single day and you go through your life? What do you want? What do you want? We know, you know, what you don't want. When we struggle with anxiety, when we struggle with depression, we get really, really, really uncomfortably familiar with what we don't want over and over and over again. We're affirming that, well, I don't want this, I don't want this, I don't want this, but we never focus on what do we actually want. Because it's hard, that's hard. Because fear has such a toxic force field that it convinces us that we want what keeps us safe and we want what keeps us small and we want what keeps us secure and in control. But that's all a mind game. Finding out what you actually want involves getting out of your own way, which means seeing fear for what it is, your emotion. It is an emotion. It is a loaded emotion. It is an intense emotion. I know you feel it intensely, but it is seeing it for an emotion. An emotion is an emotion is an emotion. It is energy in motion and it changes all the time. We've just chosen or you've just chosen or whoever's just chosen to stay stuck in it. So let's choose another good fucking emotion. Let's choose another emotion. Let's choose desire. Let's play with dreams. Let's play with love. Let's play with joy. Let's play with gratitude. Let's play with pleasure. 
Let's stop playing with fear. I'm done. This game that we play with our fear, I'm just done. It's just, it doesn't get you anywhere. It's a hamster wheel. Fear is a hamster wheel. And you're the little hamster running on it, seeing the same shit over and over and over again. And I validate you. I see you. I know it's lonely. I know it's hard. I have been there. And what I have learned is what you practice grows stronger. What you focus on, you believe. What you believe, you become. So we're done. We're done playing in the energy of fear. Now we play with desire. Now we play with pleasure. Now we play with what the fuck feels good to me. When I don't have my fear, when I'm not in my head, what feels good to me? What does my body want to feel like? What is my body saying to me? What is my intuition calling me to? What's next for me that feels good, not that feels scary? I'm done playing in the energy of fear. I'm done. It's not the way out. It's the way to more addiction to fear. Subconscious addiction, unconscious addiction. It's the same cycle. Playing with fear is playing with fear is playing with fear. And it doesn't feel like fucking playing. It feels like losing. It feels like surrendering. It feels like the most horrible things, right? Isolating, lonely, sad. It's just not a good emotion to play in. It's an emotion we feel. It's an emotion we experience. It's, it's an emotion you will always experience. You will always experience fear. You will always experience sadness because you're a human being. And we are meant to experience all emotions. But I want you to see your fear. And I want you to challenge it. Because when I looked at my fear and I said, holy shit, you're literally just an emotion that I have been addicted to for 20 years of my life. And I have been playing in with you and with your energy for that long, not even realizing it. It took all its power away. Because fear isn't this like monster. There is no fear boogie monster. There is no fear higher power. No, there is only a love higher power, an infinite higher power, a limitless higher power, a bountiful, abundant, joyful, higher power. There is not a fear higher power that's like bestowing this fear upon you. Mm -mm. It's all up here. It's all up here. Stories we create, things we tell ourselves based on the experiences that we've gone through. So your feels, your fear is fucking real. Let's get that straight, right? I'm not saying it's not real. That shit is real and it feels real and it feels hard, but it's just an emotion. It's a vibration. It's an energy. It's nothing more than that. And then you look at it and you say, holy shit, you, I have put you fear on this emotional higher power fear pedestal. And now I take you down and I'm gonna put love back up there where it belongs. And I'm gonna choose a lot of shit that makes me feel that because you suck. You don't make me feel good. You don't help me chase after my dreams. You don't help me accomplish my desires. You don't help me bring more pleasure into my life. You bring me pain, pain and pain and pain and pain in all ways. Headaches, racing heart, palpitations, sweating, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, migraines, physical pain, chronic pain, mental pain, emotional pain, spiritual pain. Take it down. Take pain off the pedestal. Get rid of your addiction to pain. Get rid of it. Suffering, worrying, none of it is productive. None of it makes you... None of it gets you closer to love. You suffering more doesn't get you closer to love. You loving more gets you closer to love. You acknowledging your own desire gets you closer to love. You acknowledging your soul, your intuition, what you want, what feels good. You acknowledge, acknowledging pleasure, that gets you closer to love. You attract what you be. 
you attract what you be. The universe, God, isn't out there saying, you know, I think Abby really wants more love. I think she really wants more love. I know she's really focused on fear, but I think what she needs is more love. That's not how it works because we're humans and we have something called free will. And what we focus on is what comes back. God, the universe knows that where our attention is, where our energy is, must be where we want to be. Because life is meant to be enjoyed. Because life is meant to be full of desire and pleasure. So the universe magnetizes to us what we focus on. Because it thinks, why would she focus on pain? But it doesn't decide that for us. It just gives us what we want. And when you focus on pain and fear, it thinks you want more of that. And I know you don't. And I know you don't want to focus on it. I know you don't want those thoughts. I know you don't want those feelings. <sighs> I know that. I, I know that. I always want to say I know that better than anyone. Maybe not better than anyone, but I know that with the best of them. We fight fear through feeling good, through focusing on what feels good. We're not going to focus on the pain anymore. Write that story off. Be done with it. See fear as an emotion. Acknowledge it. You are an emotion. I feel you. I let you go. You have no meaning. You have no meaning. You have no space. It's an emotion. Let's pick a different emotion. Put love back up on the pedestal where it belongs. Tap into what you want. You, there is, a, there is an invitation. I formally extend it to you. If you can't give yourself that permission, if you don't feel the invitation from anywhere else, I extend that invitation to you formally right now to invite yourself into pleasure and to desire and to what you want and what feels good. You don't have to be a victim to your fear anymore. You can put it down, put it down and decide right now. That's it because you are the key. Nothing else out there is the key. It's you. You don't have to wait. This is the most unbelievably liberating thing. And for a lot of people, a slightly terrifying thing about life is that you don't need anyone else to do anything for you to get out of that cycle. There, you don't have to wait on anyone. You don't have to wait for a package. You don't have to wait for somebody to call you back. You don't have to wait for any of that. It gets to be you, your decision. How liberating is that? How empowering is that? How fuck yes, oh my God. You're telling me I can just decide that, Abby? Yeah, I am. You can just decide that shit right now. And then take a few steps after that to help you get there a little bit easier. As much as fear doesn't feel like it's a decision in your life, you guys are making it. The longer you stay committed to pain, the longer you stay committed to fear, the more that story becomes part of your programming. The more that fear begins to take over your life, the harder it gets to tune into what feels good because fear makes you forget. Fear makes you forget what feels good because it wants you to stay in pain so that it can control you, so that it can keep you safe. <sighs> Love can keep you way more safe than fear can. Love will keep you way more safe than fear can and it will make you feel better. I didn't even know what I was gonna come in here and talk about you guys. I just knew I had divine inspiration. I had channeling happening. I pulled out my phone, I went live. This is flow, this is love, this is trust, this is surrender. This is, this is the embodiment of it. I couldn't come in here and talk to you about this if it was bullshit to me, if I hadn't been through it. How could I understand it this way? How could I see it this way? How could my relationship with it be like this if I haven't been through it? I know what it feels like on both sides. 
and I can tell you the better side. The side that opens you up to everything that you want. The side that when you journal in the morning and you ask yourself what your desires are and what you want next, you're living it. You're writing down your life. That is what's happened to me for the last three days. Before that too, but it's what I'm living right now is what I always wanted. So now I'm faced with this. I get to open up a whole new door to desire for myself because everything I've wanted, I have. And I'm not talking about material shit, okay, right? I have a house, beautiful. I've got a kid, beautiful. A new, another one on the way. I've got a husband. I have my family, great. But I'm talking about I have inner peace. I have sovereignty in my soul. I have flow and surrender with God, with the universe. I have so much trust in myself and in my intuition and connection to my soul over my fear. I know what fear sounds like and I know what love feels like. And I've chosen love over and over and over again. And I've taught myself how to do it and I've learned from other people how to do it. And I share it with you guys because this is my path. This is my desire to help to serve, to share the message on my heart, to share my energy and what I know to be true. Because the people that need to hear it, the people that it's going to resonate with, that it's gonna awaken, that it's gonna activate, are going to be here waiting. They're waiting for someone to say it in the right way that turns them on and tunes them in and makes them say yes, those are the beliefs I want to have. That's the energy I want to have. Everything you just said, bottle it up, sold. If you want to play in this energy, my energy, this is the energy, this whole thing, this is the energy of my mastermind, you guys. I have just decided that I'm cutting it a week short for enrollment. So it's closing at the end of this week. This is the energy of that, fighting fear through feeling good. These six months are going to feel desire and pleasure driven, figuring out what you want and helping you get it. This energy all the time, playing in my energy in a group setting, but so much one-on-one. -on -one. I have designed it like that for a reason. Highly intuitive, always tapping into what you guys want, what you guys need. What's going to serve you the most? High contact, high touch with me. So if you have wanted to work with me, this is it, you guys. I invite you to apply. I love y'all so much. I couldn't be here and doing this if I didn't. There's so much love in my heart, so much desire in my heart to serve you. And I'm so grateful for that. And I'm grateful for everybody that shows up live. I'm grateful for everybody that watches the replay, everybody that shares this. <sighs> All right. Well, this transmission <laughs> feels complete. I love you. Have a beautiful day. Just sit with this, okay? Just be in it. Just feel what it makes you feel. Okay. I love you.